This is a SID 803 ECU that I will be programming on the bench without opening the ECU. This ECU has flash memory, EEPROM memory, and also um, memory in the processor. So we have powered up the ECU and now we can connect to it. Now, first I'm going to write the flash memory. So this will now program the full two megabyte flash. So this process takes a very long time. Um, I won't film the whole thing, but I'll do a bit of talking in the meantime. So the SID803 ECU, it has three sets of memory and the the performance maps are actually stored in the processor on this one, but it still has flash memory, which also needs to be programmed on there. On this one, the EEPROM memory is where the immobilizer data is stored, and we can also program that on the bench without needing to open the ECU case now. So the main benefit of not opening the ECU case is that we don't need to break this original seal. And then we also don't need to recrimp the ECU back together, which gives us a perfect seal and protection against the elements. We can also do SID 803A ECUs. It's basically the same, except there is performance maps on the flash memory, and we don't need to program the processor on this one. So this process takes a very long time, but we saved a lot of time on opening the ECU lid so we can, we're okay with it. Okay, so we're done programming the flash memory, so now we're going to move to the processor. So now we select um, write flash MPC. Are you sure you want to do this operation? Yes. Again, this will first check all the blocks and then it will go through and erase the blocks and then it will start writing each block one by one. And again, we have a nice long wait. So whilst we're waiting for that to program, I'll just show you around the new web shop a little bit. Um, we're trying to stock up on as many ECUs as possible so that if you do get a faulty ECU, you can just get in touch with us and we will hopefully have it in stock for you. If you don't see it listed on our website, just get in touch with us. Um, we can order most parts in, and sometimes we have stock that is not actually listed on the website. Okay, and after a nice long wait, we are now finished programming the processor. The next step is to program the EEPROM memory, and this is where the immobilizer has been deleted from. So, write in MPC555 flash, okay, memory dump, Open your memory dump. EEPROM. And then we're going to write the EEPROM. Luckily, the EEPROM doesn't take very long. And there you are. We are done. So you now disconnect from the ECU. And that is done. So this ECU can now be plugged into any vehicle without needing to be coded. The only thing you need to check is that the codes on the ECU label match up.